put me in front of your most important asset, your employees. If every single person in that room gets two to three nuggets that they then can very effectively pick up and apply and change a behavior or two or three, you think about that at scale, that can get pretty interesting to the bottom line. It's about connection. It's about identifying the gaps in the lives of the people that we want to serve. It's about figuring out what's not right in their world and then identifying ways in which we can begin to almost act like we have the business before we have the business. How many people in the room have folks that call you on the phone and when you look down at your phone when it rings, you go, oh my gosh. <laughs> and you just stare at it, right? And you're like, oh my God. I mean, and all you want to do in that moment is just hit end. I would just challenge you to take a minute and say, who are the people that make you feel that way? And are they worth your energy? To me, part of being fearless is having the courage to take ownership in those moments, to be accountable, to learn from those moments so that we can in fact get even better. These people that are putting on events, they've got enough to worry about. They've got a lot on their plate. And, and what I love to say is, look, take me off your plate. I've only got nine slides, I don't need a ton, because it isn't about the slides. It's about the communication, it's about the words that drive the connection. So take all those other things that you have to worry about, go worry about those things. I said, Butch, like, what do you think is the biggest difference between the guys and girls out on tour that are one to 10 on the money list, one to 20 on the money list, the best, that are holding trophies over their heads, that are making cuts week after week after week, and everybody else. I said, what do you think's the difference? He said, they recover from adversity faster than everybody else. When we think about showing up every day as the best version of ourselves, I think it starts with believing in our ability to change, believing in our ability to evolve, because when we get uncomfortable, you know that feeling sometimes that we get when we get a little bit uncomfortable and we get that pit in our stomach? To me, that's actually when we grow. John went into the Hall of Fame last summer as not just one of the best starters to ever pitch in the big leagues, but one of the best closers. Smoltzy wasn't afraid to evolve. If, if I've just made them feel good, that's not enough. That's not what people pay me for. They're gonna feel good, but what needs to happen is they need to know how to create change in their lives based on what I've gotten clear on from the organization that they want that change to be. If it's a sales team, they need to know how to close more deals and close them faster, awesome. If it's a leadership team and we need to make sure that they're building a culture of community and authenticity, a culture of connection and clarity, a culture of safety and vulnerability, that's what I'm gonna make sure they walk out with. So every single keynote is a little bit different because every single person in the room is a little bit different and every single leadership team has a different gap they're trying to close. The sports agency business, there are actually more agents than players to represent. That's how competitive it is. And trust me, there aren't very many running around in a skirt.